Hello and welcome. We are in Macclesfield tonight to investigate this historic building where it's thought that actual bear baiting events happened here. And that's where it got its name from, the Bait Hall. This is Ghost Dimension Flying Solo. Coming up on Ghost Dimension. Straight away there was a, a knock on the floor. What was that? What the hell was that? Mm -hmm. The spirits have been watching Ghost Dimension flying so Wow. Ghost Dimension. This is the oldest public house in Macclesfield and dates back to the 16th century when the Stockford family were the original owners who were also staunch parliamentarian supporters. And it is also said that Oliver Cromwell actually stayed here. In 2005, a paranormal group came here with a psychic medium and conducted a paranormal investigation. During that investigation, they made contact with a lady who claimed she sought refuge here when she'd been chased down the street by an angry mob. She was accused of being a witch and sadly found no sanctuary here and was dragged up these very stairs. A rope tied around her neck and attached to this banister, she was thrown down here to her death. There was no proof that she was actually a witch and it is believed that she still roams this very building looking for justice from those that murdered her. However, she will not find it because those that did have since passed. With over 500 years of history, it is no surprise that when people come here, they experience spiritual things other than the ones served behind the bar. Paul, Bait Hall, Macclesfield. Yep. A fantastic building. You come inside, first of all, it's a pub. Yep. You expect to go to the bar and buy a drink and then you come through the secret passage at the back <laughs> and you end up in this fantastic part of the building yeah. like 500 years old Yeah, it's like stepping back in time isn't it? It is like stepping back in time Now this building is haunted by many ghosts the landlord has reported in the past he believes to be 14 spirits here So we said, yeah So we said and I believe when you come through here it has this atmosphere to it it mm. has this spooky eerie feel to it Yeah. Yeah, you can, you can feel how, even if it's not paranormally active and haunted, how it's going to affect your imagination. Yeah. Because you are literally stepping back 500 years in time to how the building looked. I mean, the, the beams and the, the wattle and daub and everything. <clears throat> you, you have that psychological effect straight away, but I mean, the reports are backing it up as well. Yeah, I mean, as well as the reports, I mean, the reports of a a white lady being seen in a dress here, right. walking around. Yeah. Um, this is a group, 2005, they, they picked up on a lady that came here. Yeah. Some of the reports, they seem valid. Mm. I mean, but when you're in here, if people feel a bit off the feet and disorientated, it could be because the floors in here are very uneven. It's crazy, isn't it? It's like being at uh, the fun fair at Blackpool because the, it's just the, the fun house effect with the, the, the floors are not level. They clearly didn't have spirit levels in those days yeah, to do the, uh, the work. Yeah. And they definitely didn't know what a level floor was. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to investigating in here yeah. and seeing if we can pick up on any of the claims that people have said that haunting here. Apparently there's poltergeist now here. There's a demonic presence here. Yeah. With all of this activity, mm -hmm. this should be a fantastic paranormal investigation here. Yeah, I'd, I'd be surprised if, it, if something doesn't happen. We, ne we never know what's going to happen, but with all that, something's got something's to. Something's got to. Yeah, want a refund if it doesn't. Do you know what? Let's go and find out. Follow you. Come on. Let's hear from our psychic medium in Oklahoma, Para. The first spirit I noticed from the Bates Hall Inn was during Sean's live Facebook feed. 
I didn't have the sound down because I don't like to know any more information about a location when I do a reading than my own. So when he was standing there and in that room it had a door, a door in the back he was talking there was a spirit standing in the corner it was a big giant massive shadow and it was snarling it was angry it wanted it had its fist clenched and it wanted to lash out at him I was actually thankful he moved because I thought it was going to start drawing on his energy and attack him <clears throat> the other the other spirits that I sensed in this location came from the photographs that Sean sent me, um, one of which was of the stairway. The stairway is a big giant whirlpool of spirit energy. Uh, it's almost a portal or a vortex. It is so highly concentrated. I actually got dizzy and sick from just looking at the photograph. The other spirits in this location um, are in a room, <clears throat> are in a room, and they're mostly male spirits. Uh, they're sad, they're angry, they're frustrated, they're regretful, and sometimes that the angry spirit will come down and poke and make fun of them and prod them. I don't think they notice the angry spirit but they're still there, they're still trapped there, they're clinging to something um, that I don't know exactly, I don't exactly know what it is. There are many spirits in this location. For such a small area, it's very highly spiritual con uh, concentrated. Um, the other thing that I noticed from this place was I heard a name um, I couldn't tell exactly what spirit it came from. It's almost like they shouted it at me just so I would know it. And the name is Ab Abigail. <clears throat> it's either Pennington or Peterson. Abigail, it's, the, her last name definitely starts with a pen. Um, whether it's Patterson or Pennington, I couldn't really, I couldn't really hear. It was almost like garbled radio sound that was coming through but I did clearly hear the Abigail part so hopefully they can look up that name or those two names and be able to find some more information well I'll see you later it was fantastic to hear what Para had sensed and was Abigail the lady who was hung here now we meet David our guest medium to see what he senses could be haunting here David, welcome to Ghost Dimension Flying Solo. Thank you very much. You're a psychic medium from South Yorkshire. Mm -hmm. How long have you been a psychic medium for? Um, I've been practicing as a medium for eight years, been involved in paranormal investigations for about 10. About 10 years, and when did you realize you had a psychic ability? Um, young child, um, lived in a Victorian house and there was a little girl who used to talk to me. Um, from a very young age, I believed she was there. Yeah. And I soon come to realize later on that she wasn't there and that she's now working as my spirit guide. So you, ah, so you thought that that was a real yeah. person and then it, you realised it wasn't and now she's your spirit guest. Yeah. So does she give you information when you're doing your psychic um, inf readings? Yeah, so already she started giving me information um, as soon as I walked in here already. Oh wow, what what she give you straight away? Um, there's a couple of uh, children that she's communicated with already, there's a boy and a girl here. Okay. Um, they're quite interested in her because she's a young child as well. So they're yeah. quite interested, wanting to play with her. Um, she's given me the name of a man. I'm not going to reveal just yet, because I want yep. to see if I can get any more with him. Of course, him. yeah. Um, but he's not a very, very pleasant person. He's quite a negative. So he's like a negative He's a very negative energy. Um, and in the background, there's a very faint woman. So I'm not sure if she's not got energy or whether she's not ready to come through yet, but there is a woman there as well. So there's a lady. Is she, she, you don't know if she's nice yet or she's nasty? I'm not sure. She's very faint at the moment, um, but the man is definitely very negative. Okay, well, well, that sounds interesting. And that's been given by your spirit guide yeah. as you've come in. As soon as I've walked in, I mean, I've, I've done hundreds of ghost hunts, but this to me feels very oppressive. Um, I think we're in for a good evening. Oh, I can't wait. Is you feeling any, anywhere drawn in this building? Yeah, I mean, 
as you were doing the uh, opening shots I've just kind of been walking around I'm drawn to one part of the building um, yep. already I've started hearing movement I feel that I might have caught a shadow out the, the corner of my eye yep. um, with it being in the same direction I'm very interested to have a look down there Shall we head over? Yep, definitely You lead away David, you felt drawn to this area of the building Yeah What, what do you feel has drawn you here? Um, the female figure so she's a lot stronger over this area um, she's given me an overwhelming feeling of sickness um, and keeps touching the stomach so I'm relating that to pregnancy okay. um, but there's nothing nothing visible yeah um, she's got very dark hair she's very thin very pale she's not a very confident character um, and the male as well he's in the next room along I think um, I can hear him quite loud What's he doing? What's he saying? He's talking about losing something. Um, this is Richard. Um, I'm getting the surname King as well, but I'm not sure that's related to him or her. Okay. Um, but he's lost something and he's very angry about it. So this is the, the angry presence you felt before? Yeah. Um, the woman, she's very strong, especially here, this area. Yeah. Um, but, like I say, overwhelming feeling of sickness. Overwhelming feeling of sickness, wow. There's a well-documented report here of um, a lady that was thrown over the banister because she was a witch. Can you feel her energy at all as she come through? I feel that that might be the woman that I'm connecting with. So it's the same woman? Because she's very, very underconfident and she won't speak out for herself. I feel that that could be the same person. God, yeah, so she's here and she's showing herself as like a white energy, do you believe, or do she Yeah, no, she's, she's not a negative entity at all. Yeah. Whereas Richard most certainly is, he's very black. Can they both see each other? Yes, they they, they're in communication with each other. And does, um, does Richard speak to this um, lady? He's not at the moment, um, he's in the next room across, but I do believe that the reason she is so scared and so anxious is because of Richard. Got it. What type of activity would you expect we would receive here? Um, with Richard, I think, because he's a very negative entity, you're going to hear a lot of bangs, um, a lot of poltergeist activity. Um, he's definitely very strong and very negative. Very strong and very negative. God. Shall we, if he's in that room next door to this room, shall we go in there? Yeah, absolutely. Let's yeah? see what he wants. Let's go and see what he wants. Come on. David, this is the room with the nasty energy. Mm. You feeling? Are you feeling in there? Just, just behind you. So he's behind in this me. Corner, yes. What, what's he doing? Is he, is he giving you any information, or is he just? No, he's feeling? observing what we're doing at the moment. But he's making me very nervous. He's very tall. He's very well built. Yeah. Um, he's very angry. How tall would he? Very angry. How, how tall would he be against me? Well, I mean, I'm five eleven, so I think he's at least six, six four. Six four. But oh, yeah, he's big then. He's tall, he's well built. Well it feels weirder in here. You can feel this awkward energy mm. of something uneasy. And if he's in here, I think later then we do an investigation in here and see if we can gather some evidence. Yeah. That no, he's here. Absolutely. I mean he's making me very nervous, so we'll just have to be careful with him. Yeah, do you think we need to be dead careful? Yeah. And it, will this guy can he harm anybody? I wouldn't have thought so. I mean, we're, we'll be well protected. Um, yeah. We just need to be very careful with him. Just very, very careful. Yeah. Well, we'll make sure we are. Are you feeling any more presence, any more information about him? Or Not at the minute. I mean, I can see a little bit more of him now, and he's wearing a, a waistcoat, but it's a leather look one. Yeah. Um, he does look, I mean, I'm not too great with, with eras, but he does look very old fashioned. Okay. So he looks old fashioned. He's wearing this lay, leather grey, you say? No, brown. Brown. Leather brown. Jacket. Coat, yeah. It'd be good if we catch him tonight. Absolutely. I think because he's such a strong character, we're more likely to catch him tonight. Yeah. So he'll be the one tonight causing the issues. Absolutely. He's the man with the energy. Very dominating man, yes. Okay, well, there's one more place I want to take you, yeah, and it's the stairs. Mm -hmm. And this is where there was a lady who believed to be a witch was thrown over. I want to see if she's still in this aura, given the energy, and see if you sense that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah? Let's have a look. It's only there, so let's head over. David, this is where the alleged witch was hung and thrown over this banister. Yeah. Um, are you feeling any energy here? Yeah, it's, it feels very active here. Um, I want to go downstairs and across slightly. Yeah. I'm feeling drawn more that way. Um, 
I don't like referring to her as the witch. She's she's very negative towards that. Okay. Um, she's definitely here. So her presence is still replaying it. I heard something in yeah, there. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, there was a click in this room to the side of us. Or a voice. Or... I like a very faint voice. Yeah. The it's, child. it's a very active area. I mean, I've picked up another um, energy. Yeah. Um, a male energy. Slightly down the stairs. Wow. And if I give you the, does, does this, can, can you psychometrize at all? Can you feel if it was real? Yeah. Or, do you feel like it might have been the real rope or? I'm not sure that it was. No? So it could have just been brought here but just it's, for... it's very symbolic though. It's symbolic, so what it, it? what it means is causing her a lot of distress. Wow, okay. She's, she's a very upset soul. So seeing that is causing her distress and that's mm. what may be causing some of the activity. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Wow. Well, I think it's about time we investigate it and see what happens. Definitely. Come on, let's do it. Okay, so I'm in one of the rooms here at Bay Hall, upstairs. I'm gonna go and check outside, because I've put a REM pod outside, where the witch, or the lady, um, supposedly was thrown over, and there's a rope. So, what I'm gonna do, first of all, I'll start in here, and I'm gonna call out, and see if I can get anything to interact with me, um, communicate, and feel any presence or anything like that and see what happens, okay? Now, if there's anyone here in this room with me, make a noise, make a knock or a bang or use your voice and let me know you're here. Walk on this floor. Use your voice. Good evening and welcome to Ghost Dimension Flying Solo from the Bait Hall in Macclesfield. Uh, I am currently in one of the rooms on the top floor. All these rooms on the top floor are pretty much as they were when the building was built. You can see the old door, that's probably extremely original to the building. <coughs> the old beams. This place is just so old looking, all the floors are uneven, we've got tape on the floor saying caution attention because there's holes there so... And this room, I think this is the room where there's supposed to be children that have been heard, seen, felt. Uh, so I'm just going to stand in here, I've got a REM pod, uh, a REM DD just in the corner there. I've got my ovalus with me, I'll put that on in a few minutes and we'll see if anybody wants to talk to me. So I'm here in the very back room of the pub. Very oppressive. <laughs> Richard's over here in this corner. Richard. Richard, are you here? Well, if the lady's around, step outside, come towards me and walk towards the red pod and set that off. That'd be fantastic if you did that. Ooh, ooh! That was on the floor. Thank you. Straight away, there was a, a knock on the floor. That was good. Let's see if it'll do it again. Can you do that again for me? Knock on the floor. No. I'm just going to go outside and check. Is anyone here? Can you make a knocking noise or a, a voice or throw something at me? Can you communicate with me? No. At this moment in time then, zero is happening. Now there's 
there's a, um, a hole over there and I'll point the camera. I heard that, I heard that, that was a, that was a knock. Can you do that again if you're here with me? Whoa, okay. I heard another noise, it's like people are walking around upstairs. I heard a noise coming from around here. I wanna, before I go and investigate over there again, I wanna check out this hole, point the camera in, and see if anything happens. Is anybody in here? Can you sh show yourself to me? Show yourself on this camera. Move an object in there. Burn. Now, what's kind of interesting when you think about one of the stories that uh, are associated with this place, and that's that of uh, an alleged witch. She wasn't burnt, she was hung. But what did they used to do to witches? Some were burnt. You're very angry, aren't you? Why are you so angry, Richard? I can hear Richard walking around, moving very fast. If there's a man here and you're angry, come forward now. What was that? What was that? Whoa, 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 there's another noise over here. So there's a voice and a noise from in here. Clearly something here. Okay, I'm back in this room now. Come into this room and join me. Bang on something in here, come on. Use all of your energy. Walk on the floor. You did it before, you can do it again. Please do it for me. Okay, let's, let's do it again. I'm going to count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we should have picked that up. That was a bang from outside here. Over in this direction. Run. Oh, I'm not running in this place. Not with the floors out of the way, they're all so uneven. Now, uh, just thinking about it, that girl that was supposed to have sought sanctuary here, she ran in here. So is that what she's telling me? She, she's run and she's running here. Is that what you're trying to say? Can you tell me your name? Were you accused of being a witch? And you're not. Oh, there's a tap above me then. What was that? A little knock above me then. That was me then that knocked. I was just trying to see what it sounded like. Business. Business. Whose business? Can you please try and tell me your name? I'd really like to know who you are. I don't know if you can see, there's something. I mean, I'm running upstairs window. There shouldn't be, well, there isn't shadows and going past. There's nothing in the window. I keep seeing light moving here. Richard. 
What did you do to that young girl? I just felt my heart drop. You know, like you're on a fairground ride. Just felt her drop. So that was that was a noise, but it wasn't loud enough. Please do something for me, so I can basically go. Whoa! You know that was big. Make a noise for me. I'm not feeling much here. This particular area, I'm feeling more drawn out into the corridor. I'm just going to point the camera down the stairs and just see if anything's there that I can see. Now, I'm going to go back up here because up here I have felt a bit. Well, there was more activity up here. As I stood here in this corner, stuff's happening, so let's see if we can get it to do it. Okay, make, give me an indication you're here. Come and join me. Are you here now? Okay, okay, yeah, I heard that. That was tap tap. I could creak on the floor. Come close to me. If that was you creaking on the floor, come closer to me. Show yourself. Show yourself in physical form to me. David felt you before. I want you to come closer. Use all of the energy and draw off my energy if you can. Mm, cross into this other room. Girl, though. It's an older lady, an old lady. Got a bad chest, she's coughing a lot. I'm feeling very unsteady. I mean, I'm not. Richard's here, but I don't know if Richard would have been here. This isn't Richard's home. And that, the other end of the building, more towards the stairs. That's where it wants to be. Oh. Look, I'm going to put this here. You can hear this. No, he stopped. It was footsteps like tap, tap, gentle, walking on the floor. And as soon as I mentioned it, bomb stopped. What the hell was that? What was that? Again. On the floors. It's like somebody's following me around. And look, you've got this bath in here. In this mirror, 
is the words help. Let's see if you can see it. Now you can't rub it off, it's behind the mirror itself. So the landlord said, you know, that appeared there randomly. So is that the lady who was pushed over and hung, or is that something else? Is that asking for help spiritually? If you're in this area now with me, please come and join me. Richard, I came from behind me, it's just here. Why did you push the girl, Richard? But I don't think we have a lock. No pipes and this is electric, is it? It's electric, there's no pipes in that. Richard, you're here, aren't you? I don't know why you're so angry, Richard. I'm going to go back into this bathroom because I came in here and then stuff happened down there. I'm going to point the camera that way. Okay, come forward to me. Come close. A whistle. A whistle. You, I, I hear the whistle. And, th and then a tap on the floor. Do that again for me if you can. That was fantastic. Thank you very much. What's that? Please make another noise like that for me. What? Okay, do it again. In five, four, three, two, one. A whistle and a noise. Cup of this. <whistles> this activity again outside. I'm gonna have to put the camera. the back over there. And another noise. That sounded like it came from in here. Look. Richard. The last chance. Why did you throw the girl? Why did you throw her over the banister? She wasn't a witch, and you know she wasn't a witch. This place is really good because this noise is now appearing to come from all different directions. This is amazing. And it's as you move around, you get to experience what's happening. The bait hole was becoming active and the landlord advised that the nasty presence did not like females. So I grabbed Jane and we went off to investigate this claim. This room here, which is on the newer part of the building, the medium, uh, David sends the negative energy in this area. And at the same time, it doesn't like women. Jane, it doesn't like women. So I brought Jane. Yeah. I want to see if we can increase the level of activity and That's get this spook. Let's to get see, Jane. Let's see if we can get some energy going. Now before we start, I'll show you what we've got. We've got the Alice box, and we've got this K2 meter, 
which I'll pick up now. Oh, I just have a name, Anthony. Anthony, it said Anthony, yeah. And alone. Oh. And we've got some coins, and, do we, and we've got some REM pods uh, either side, because this is where the energy is supposed to be concentrated to. And we've got some coins here, which is gold, because the uh, medium. Oh my god, oh, I so miss that. The uh, K2 one, mad then. The, the medium David said that the spirit is looking for gold. Bro. Wow. So, I wonder if it's asking somewhere to be alone. Alone? Yeah, no. Well, we, we, we do do alone. We do do alone. Maybe he knows what the show's about, Jay. Yeah, maybe. Maybe he's been watching it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Experience. I've been watching Ghost Dimension flying solo. Wow. So, should we call out, Jay? Yeah. If there's any spirits here, come and speak to me and Jane. We're here to communicate with you. If you can make a noise or use your voice or go near one of these objects and set one of them off. Can you come and touch one of us? Gouge. Good gouge. No, you're not going to gouge us. No, no. That's weird. That's the Alice Fox. It's just gouge. gouge. Okay. I've just somebody just walked right over my grave. Over your grave? Yeah, do you know when you get that, that tingly feeling? Yeah. Wow. If you're here, where me and Jane are going to walk into your energy now, in this corner, we want you to do something for us now. I'm going to give you a count now. Five foot. What was that? Did you hear that? I heard that, yeah. That came from out there, didn't it? Are you trying to split us up? Are you trying to make Sean go one way and me stay in this vicinity on my own? I hear you don't like women. What's that moving? Oh, yeah. Scratch it. Pick that up. Do you hear that scratch? Scratch it. Where's that coming from? Behind you. Coming from. There's nobody else here. There's only me and Sean here. Is that you scratching? Speak to our machine. And we tell have us. some money here for you. Some gold coins. Can you move one of them? If you can move one, you can have one. Use our energy. Should we go through to this room, Jane? Yeah, let's try that. Just going through to the Oh, room. It feels oh, weird in here. It smells as well. It's got colder in here, yeah. isn't it? I thought this had gone off then, it hasn't. No. But it looked like it had. It's colder. Yeah, Sean's got K2 in his hand. Are you with us now? What was that? It looked like a scratching noise. Yeah. Is that you scratching? Ooh. Let's go and see. Oh, locked. Locked. Ooh, locked. Yeah, would you There's a lot of money there. Is there is a lot, yeah. Was that more than what you had? Maybe, yeah. Maybe. maybe. Wow. Can you do something to one of us? Can you touch Sean on the shoulder? Or can you push him? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, empty. Empty. Oh my God, it's empty. We're not emptying the room for you. That's what you want. Just eerie. You gotta watch where you walk as well, Jane. Yeah. Come on, you need to do something big. You need to scare me. I'm not easily scared. Come on. I have two little balls in my hand. I'm going to roll one out there. Can you roll it back for me? Mm. 
this is like it's waiting in hand. Whoa, what was that? What was that? Whoa, and then that machine's flashed up as well and a word oh. disappeared. That was weird. Oh, oh Anna. Anna. And it went again so quick. What do you oh choke? choke. Oh Jane. No. Choke. That's very, very strange, isn't it? This do man. you want to choke one of us? And you're the witch, the lady he said was a witch. She was apparently choked. She choked. Because she was hung <gasps> with the yeah, rope outside. What it was. Got an idea, Jane. Oh my god. <gasps> no. No, choke. Oh, oh my gosh. god. Choke was happy here. I have never, since we've been have using that. Have you just that, got that on camera? Yeah. Wow. I've never, since we've been using that, had a full sentence. No, that was a full sentence we got here. It was happy here. So whoever this is, was happy here. Oh, I've got shivers. Right I, down my, my, yeah. yeah. <gasps> That's, wow. You know what, right? We had the tap. Yeah. So it was thrown at us. And then the activities kicked off, Jane. And then the full sentence. And the wow. full sentence. You can't. You just can't. can't write it. No, you can't write it. That was amazing. If you was happy here, why are you sad now? Come on, speak through the Alice box. Leather. And you're not going to believe this. What? What did David say before? Oh, leather jacket, brown leather jacket. Yeah, and he what? This was like his home or something. Oh yeah. Yeah. This is... Is this you you're talking about? Did you have a brown leather jacket? If that is you and you're speaking to myself and Jane through this box and throwing stuff at us, use your voice. Yeah, speak to us. Show yourself on camera for us. Come and stand there being shown. Wow, Bait Hall, what an amazing night so far. I thought to myself tonight, what am I going to expect? I saw the pub from the outside, it looks quite small from the outside. Then you go upstairs and there's this warren of different rooms that you can go in. It's still the way it was and it's changed of course over the years from the 500 years ago. It's still the way it was though. The beams are here, the walls are still here and the place is haunted. I can't believe the activity that I've personally experienced on my own vigils tonight. I mean, what, how have you been? Definitely, um, there's been a lot of activity here. Um, you can almost say paranormal activity with things being thrown about, um, the knocking, the walking, definitely a very active tonight. Well, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, this is what you do it for, you know, yeah. to experience that happening. Yeah. Especially, I mean, it's for you. Luckily, the REM pod went off as well at the same time, yeah, you know, absolutely. so validation. Yeah, it gives you, it gives you two pieces of evidence. And I mean, I, I went round when we first got here to make sure to do the baselines. <clears throat> there's no windows, there's no air movement. I mean, it's been so warm up here all day and it would have been nice to have a little bit of air movement just to, to keep us cool down. But there aren't any breezes, there, there's nothing. So for that to be moving, you're on your own, you get the REM, you know that room's got something going on in it. So it, it backs up the fact that you weren't alone. Yeah, and that's fantastic for the fact that, you know, I was sat in a room and felt a cold, cold breeze across me. Mm. Almost like somebody's walked across me or touched me. And, yeah. You know, for you to say that, you know, it's excellent validation. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited for the way that this investigation's gone tonight. And I can't wait to investigate even more on more Ghost Adventure Flying Solo because every time we do something, you know, whether it be an indoor location or an outdoor location, we seem to be able to generate spiritual activity or interest yeah. and they come and join us on the investigation. Do you know what I think is quite interesting in the way we do it as well? A lot of it, it's very much on the fly. Yeah. Not a great deal of planning, we just get in the car, where are we going to go? Let's go and drop in somewhere and see how it goes. And I think sometimes we catch them out. Yeah, I think you're right, Bob. You know, I don't think yeah. they expect this, you know. Definitely. And they're on the back foot, so, you know, you've come in tonight, you've caught them out in different areas. It's the way it works, it's the future. It's good. Mm. I didn't know I was coming here until 10 minutes before I was coming here, so, you know, for me to, to, to hear that, I've got a lot of things that were picked up before, you know, it's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, which is true, which we didn't actually mention at the start of the show. 
David did not have a clue. He was going to one location and then we changed him to another location as he was on his way. So he didn't know we were coming here tonight. So there's no research by anybody done. The stuff that happens here is real. So the stuff you see, the stuff David said, and the stuff you hear is real. And that's what makes a fantastic paranormal investigation. So, from Ghost Dimension Flying Solo, thank you and good night.